Alright guys, next up is the Press Series. Uh, no, not a whole lot of these um, in here. Most of them are pretty simple, but we do want to go over some stuff that you haven't done before. So, Tim? Alright, so what we're going to do here um, is just the behind the neck, shoulder to overhead stuff. So we're going to start with a straight press. So what he's going to do is pinch his shoulder blades back as hard as he can. His grip is going to be a little bit wider than his normal strict press. He's going to squeeze his legs and abs as hard as he can, and he's going to press that bar up over his head. Come back down till you touch the neck again, and he's going to keep his head just far forward enough so he doesn't crack himself in the back of the skull. There you go, very good. Now we'll see some push press. So now all he's going to do is add a little bit of leg drive in there. So he's just going to bend those knees out and pop his hips. Otherwise, it's identical. Now, um, especially if you're in my classes, you may hear uh, me talking about, or the coach talking about keeping your thumbs around the bar. Well now, it's triply important because that bar is directly over his head and neck most of the time. So if you use a thumbless grip and that bar slips out of your hands... I'm not going to demo that, is that yeah, okay? That's fine to not demo that. Safety first. That bar will land directly on your head and you will be going directly to the hospital ruining everyone's workout. Lastly, we have the jerk. So now, instead of just locking it out, he's going to dip and then drop underneath it there. You want to catch it with straight elbows. There we go, very nice. Alright, you can take a break there. Alright guys, so uh, we're going to show you um, pike push-ups on a box here. Um, now what this is, is the in-between between dumbbell press and handstand push-ups on a wall. So we've gotten your shoulders big and strong already, now we're going to get you comfortable with being upside down. So the easiest uh, version of that, Justin's just going to have his knees on the box. Now notice that his torso here is almost vertical. And what he's going to do is lower himself down until his head touches the floor, making sure that his head touches in front of his hands. If you come back and your head touches uh, rather closer to the box there, you put your shoulders in a very, very risky position. Um, now he's going to put his feet down there. He's going to have almost completely straight legs here. Same thing. Torso is vertical. That is absolutely critical. And he's going to lower his head down slightly in front of his hands and then press back up. Now bear in mind, the wider your hands are, the shorter this range of motion is going to be, and thus the easier it will be. So the goal is to work your hands in until they're directly beneath your shoulders for uh, the closest thing we can get to an actual handstand push-up. What about the dismount? Dismount can be as ungraceful as you like it to be. Perfect. Time!